Hi guys, welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about a very useful new hidden feature that can be enabled in the build 25300 of the dev channel. Of course, in this video, I'm going to show you how to enable a new ability to rearrange or manage the order of the keyboard layout for people with more than one keyboard layout and settings. And that will also reflect in this flyout from the taskbar. I think that is really, really useful. In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable this useful, but very quick and simple hidden feature that Microsoft implemented in this build. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechPace channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. As always, we're going to have to download Vive Tool. You're going to have the downloading for Vive Tool in the article below in the video description. Just download the latest version the zip, open it up with File Explorer, click on Extract All, click on Browse and make sure to extract it into the System32 location in this PC, Local Disk C, Windows and then scroll down to System32. 32, select it, click on select folder, extract, I'm going to have to replace the files, click on continue, and Vive tool should be set up as easy as that. Now we're going to have to open up the CMD from the search box, type my here CMD, and on the CMD, click on run as administrator, and on user account control, of course, click on yes. And CMD, you're going to have to copy and paste in this command, Vive tool slash enable slash ID 34912776, and you should receive the message successfully set feature configuration. A big shout out to Gustav Mons for discovering this hidden feature and to Phantom Ocean for providing the ID to enable this new addition in Windows 11 25300. You're going to have both of these guys' Twitter links and the pinned comment below. Now we can exit out of the CMD and restart the computer for the changes to take effect. After the restart, if you open up the settings app and then go into time and language, then keyboard as it is called right now, before it was called typing, you will now see this new section, all keyboards with all your keyboards installed, the default keyboard and also the button to add a keyboard and here you will be able to move up or down the keyboard layouts that you have installed. And as you can see, I have English United States and English Australia. Let's move this down and see if this is reflecting. Yes, as you can see, this is reflecting also on the keyboard layout flyout from the taskbar. Before we had this for language and region, basically the preferred languages, we were able to do that here, but on the keyboard settings, we were able to do that. And now we can, and I think this is very, very nice. Don't forget that the download link and also the command used in this video will be in the article below in the video's description. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechPace channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechPace. Until next time, have a nice day.